Hi, I'm Ray Fremont Jr., Marketing Manager for General Air Products. And I'm going to tell you how to adjust the pressure on the SWP60113 pressure switch. The SWP60113 pressure switch is used on our AMD2 air maintenance devices. This pressure switch is factory preset for 30 pounds on, 40 pounds off. It can be adjusted as low as 14 pounds on, 24 pounds off, and as high as 60 pounds on, 70 pounds off. The 10 pound differential must always be maintained. The key to adjusting the pressure switch correctly is knowing which parts you'll be working with. Begin by removing the cover. Note that there are pressure switch adjustment procedures inside the cover of every one of our pressure switches. The first part of the pressure switch I want you to take note of is the electrical connection terminals for incoming power and power to the motor. This is the pressure adjustment screw, which we'll be turning to adjust the pressure range as we move forward. And this is the differential pressure screw. Do not touch the differential pressure screw. Allow me to explain. When we talk about adjusting the pressure on a pressure switch, we're adjusting the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously while leaving the differential pressure unaffected. When the cut-in pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to run. When the cut-out pressure is reached, the switch sends a signal to the motor to turn off. When the differential pressure is adjusted incorrectly, these signals are sent too frequently, causing the pressure switch to fail or the compressor to short cycle itself to death. If you still think you need to adjust the differential pressure, please call us at 800-345-8207 to speak with the tech for further instruction. To adjust the cut-in and cut-out pressure simultaneously, you need to turn the pressure adjustment screw on the pressure switch. Now remember, adjusting the pressure switch is not an exact science. Some manufacturing tolerance should be allowed for. Start by turning the pressure adjustment screw one full turn only. Clockwise to increase pressure, counterclockwise to decrease pressure. Once you've made one full turn, let the compressor run. Check the closest pressure gauge to see where the pressure lands. Simply repeat this process until you reach the desired pressure center. One last thing to remember. Whenever you buy a General Air Products fire protection air compressor or accessory, you have access to our technical support for the entire life of the unit. So whether you have additional questions about pressure switch adjustment or anything revolving around the air compressor or our accessories functions, please feel free to give us a call at 800-345-8207. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks.